Good morning, tubers. Today we're going to talk about how to import video or data into your computer. And one of the best ways is to use a USB 3.0 multi floor mat memory card. This is what I use to update my videos to YouTube. I formerly had a 2.0 card reader, but it wasn't reading my memory or my videos fast enough or it wasn't uploading them fast enough. So to upgrade to this USB card memory from Insignia, I got this memory card reader from Best Buy. I think it was about $15 and it's a variation of a lot of different cards. This SD card reader supported quite a few uh, formats of different memory cards. It does the SD card, the SDHC, the SDXC, which is the one I use, and the micro card, which is used in most phones. And it can even have the old memory card that came in the first generation DSL cameras. So let's take a look at the box and see just what comes in it. All right, let's take a quick look and unboxing at this card and just see what we got. I've been needing this for a long time and been needing an upgrade. As you can see, it's got this USB 3 plug in here the card for the thank you I would have rather that been on the other side and it's got the for the older version and the micro SD card button here let me pull that card back out and you got the micro SD card here and it come with the USB power cord you can tell it's a USB 3 by the plug-in that it is. It's got the the blue that's telling me that it's a USB 3 and it's got the double data plug here that plugs directly so I know it's definitely a USB 3 plugs in like that but what I don't like about it is it's got the memory card on the same side of the one that I use on the same side, the power cord is on the same side. So that's the design flaw. I should have, I wished it would over there on this side. It would have done a whole lot better, I think. But anyway, what I'm gonna do with this is, all right, for now I'm gonna move out of the Wi-Fi. And I have a USB 3 port on the front of it. I can recognize that it's a USB 3 by the blue uh, line here. And this have a black line, so I know this is a USB 2, not to plug it up to that. So this is blue, this is blue, so. And I heard a sound, make it recognize it. Should be lightening up somewhere. I saw the light, so there we go. The blue light lighting up, letting me know. And then what I do is get it to recognize on the computer. And that's the way you hook it up. This has been TP Tech. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. We definitely appreciate each and every subscriber. Have a great day. Peace.